You are here on a good night. In the next hour, as a public service, we're bringing you nothing less than a live radio event. Since the lockdown began 150 years ago, it's changed everyone's lives. Many of the problems it has caused are desperately serious. People's mental health is under enormous strain. Money worries have been exacerbated. Children are cooped up and there's no sign of an end. Non-COVID health problems are not being attended to. Some people, as you've heard on the programme, are going to work even though they don't want to. Almost everyone is worried about the future, uh, the future for themselves, their families and for the country. And night after night, we've done our best to give voice to all of that and more. And of course, we will again. Tonight, though, because it's Friday and we're out of ideas and I'm a little drunk, we're going to devote the next hour to something not as important as any of that, but it's important nonetheless. Our hair. I say our hair. I'm not really talking about my hair, of course. You can see the Great Wall of China from space, apparently, but you cannot really see my hair in the mirror. I did trim mine the other week with some clippers, and without a word of a lie, no one in the LBC office noticed the difference. So this hour on hair is not for my benefit, but it it might help you. Among our listeners around the country and around the world, each new day brings that nagging question, what am I going to do about this barnet? In those early weeks of the lockdown, maybe you thought it was fun just to go with it. See how wacky your hair would look after three weeks. After all, who's going to see it? But now, birds are nesting in your hair. You no longer need a pillow at bedtime. This is clearly getting serious. The good news is, you're not alone. LBC's Westminster correspondent, Ben Kentish, has always had Great hair. Everyone says it about him. Say what you like about Ben's political analysis, his Westminster insights, his his well-sourced contacts. His hair tops them all. Now ben, as you know, has been a regular contributor to the nightly Downing Street news conferences, appearing in sound and vision at a time when everyone is watching and listening. And as the weeks have gone on, with his hair uncut, his concerns about his hair have grown, and he's expressed those on this programme. He says he has a mullet. Others claim his hair is messier than the second season of Killing Eve. There have been whispers here at Global that perhaps Ben was letting the side down, given that everyone else at LBC who appears on camera, I'm thinking of me, James, Sheila, Nick and so on, is undeniably gorgeous. So tonight we're going to help Ben cut his hair live on the programme. Ben is at home, safely in quarantine, though he tells me that Staying two metres away from people when he walks outside is tricky because his hair is now a metre in circumference. And we're not leaving Ben to hack away at his beautiful hair without help, fun though that would be. Throughout the programme, I'm joined by Julie Maguire, who's a hairdresser and makeup artist based in Edinburgh. Uh, ben Kentish, our Westminster correspondent, is going to cut his hair uh, live here on the programme. I've got a visual of Ben, I've got a, a video link to his... Uh, his house, I can see his sideboard behind him. And uh, you've got your earpiece in. Hello, can you see me? No, I don't know why I'm waving at you. but I can't, Eddie, I wish oh. I could. Well, that's sweet of you. Now, look, would you describe... Maybe, I, maybe I'm glad I don't, actually. Would you describe, um, for the listener, describe what your hair is like at the moment. It's uh, it's just heavy. Can you, oh, I'm, I'm running my fingers through it right now, and it's probably about... Oh, it's, it's long. It's long and it's heavy on top, so it looks like I've got a bit of a mop on my head and the back is rapidly turning into a mullet, I'm afraid I do. Can you, can you turn around and show me the back? Just, just for a sec. Can you see that? Hold on. It's, 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 it's growing down yeah, my neck. Yeah, that's, yeah that, needs, that needs cutting. You could, you could run through that and get lost. Um, when was the last time you had your hair cut? End of February. Okay. So I normally get it cut every sort of six weeks and we're getting on for, what's that, over three months now. No, over two months. Have you been Getting tempted? On for three. Have you been tempted at all? Because, like many people, when this lockdown started, uh, people thought, "Well, it might be three weeks. My hair can survive." Uh, have you been tempted before we've kind of bullied you into this to to have a go yourself? I did have a go. I had a go on the sides. Yeah. I had a go on the sides with the with the razor. And I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to show you now, but I yeah. almost gave myself a bald patch, and I very quickly abandoned yeah. any effort. And since right. then, this was about a month ago now. I do. I've been letting it run free. 
and run free it has. So I'm excited about how I'm going to look in the next hour. Uh, slightly nervous, but I've got my scissors. I've got these thinning scissors as well. Show me your scissors. Amazon. They look like some sort of torture implement. Thinning scissors, they're called. I've got no. normal scissors with me here. So you've, showing got, you've got two pairs of scissors. And I've got thinning scissors, right. which look a bit like some sort of torture device. And what do you have in terms of mirrors? And have you got some you newspaper see? or something down on the floor? I've got, a, I've got a plastic sheet. We're all set. I've got my mirror. I've got a cup of tea. I've even got one of those little toffee biscuits they always give you the hairdressers. So I'm going all out. Hey, where have you been on your holidays? I oh, know there's no time for that. Listen, um, stay with us, Ben. We're going to get you uh, cu cutting in just a moment. We'll hear from Julie Maguire, who will give you uh, expertise uh, before you uh, cut anything off those that beautiful barnet. So many people have lockdown hair now, and we have Julie Maguire on hand to help out. Julie is a hairdresser and makeup artist based in Edinburgh. Julie, how are you? Hi. Hi there, Eddie. Good. Yes, good afternoon. This is probably third time I've done this on the lockdown, taken, I've actually never done this before where I don't see I can't see Ben, I've been doing Zoom guidance mm. haircuts so this will be a little bit more of a challenge but I do have some images that I've posted to Ben so that it, sometimes it's easier to send oh, a picture right. than describe what, what? Um, the ways to hold your fingers and your hands and all the different angles that we do as hairdressers. Well, let me bring, bring Ben back into the conversation. I've got a video. Uh, I mean, I'm the, uh, it's you that needs the video link and you don't have it, Julie, which is what makes this so much fun. Uh, yes. But I can see him. And, and the last five minutes, he's just been toying with his hair as if he's saying goodbye. Because <laughs> he's mourning already the loss of his hair. I'm not going to lie to you, Julie. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing here. You probably okay. heard, last time I tried to do anything in my hair, I almost gave myself a bald patch. Uh, I'm pretty convinced we're going to get to that point again. So my, mm. not my life, but my hair is uh, metaphorically very much in your hands. All right, Julie, where does he start? Okay. Okay. Now, have you dampened your hair off, wet it, or is it dry still, Ben? No. It's, uh, it's recently washed, a couple of hours ago. It's dry. Should I wet it? Well, you know, it helps to wet to have it damp to section the hair that you don't need because we're going to do okay. it in sections. So, is there time okay. for you to wet it? Where, where are we starting? The, now, I yeah. would suggest the first image I sent you, where it's, you take a horseshoe section from the top of the, you know, from the temples, so just from the the end yep. of your eyebrow. Yep. I think we should use your thinning scissors because it's safer in a way. Okay. So, and you've got That's your comb. Sure. Are you left or right-handed? Right-handed. Okay, so scissors on the right hand. And your comb's in yep. your left hand. Oh, this is so because it's okay. like the moon landing. <laughs> I'm using my hands, but yeah, go on. So if you take your, your comb and place it just at the where your um, sideburns would be. I don't know if you've got sideburns, but... It does a bit. Yeah. 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 Yep. And have your, your comb in pretty flat, tight to the head. And you'll and the, the hair that needs cut is out of the, the comb. So take, go in with your thinning scissors through the comb. So you take um, yep. your comb, place it close yep. to the, the scalp. The first cut has been made. Oh, it's happened. Yep. yep. So just go up it's and gone. thin it it's out. It's done. Yeah. So the thinning scissors we can stop should just now, be weighed Get, out. Looks good. Now, come on, listen, listen to Julie. She's got more yeah. advice for you. <laughs> the thinning scissors should just take the weight out. So you're kind of safer thinning it. And go all the okay. way up to the, the temple. You could cut so, some more yeah. off, Ben. So go, go behind, kind of behind the ear now, up towards that line yep. where you've pushed away. And just go behind the ear and thin it. Don't thin cut it your ear, be careful. I think what we'll do behind the ear, there'll be excess hair. That's probably yes. You probably normally have a clipper cut, do you? Does your hairdresser use the clippers? The back's normally clipper cut, Julie. That's right. Yeah, because if you did have clippers, I would suggest you would use like a number four, a number three, which you could probably do in a week or two. Mm. I will let you know what tools mm. to get, but just now we'll use what we've got. So take your normal scissors, comb the hair behind the ear and all the way down the sides and almost like bring it forward towards your eyes. Do I cut straight across, Julie, or do I cut sort of into it? I would cut into it. So use the points, the point, the tips 
of the scissors so, and yeah. just point cut. So do it quite oh. softly so that it's kind of random, soft, so it's not like a harsh line. And just chip away okay. at it. Just well, chip okay. away at it. He's off and running. Way. Um, good luck, and we're going to let you get on with that, Ben, with your live hair cutting. And we're going to come back to you before five o'clock and have a look at your hair. And I'll tell you this, if it doesn't look very different, there's going to be trouble. Well, let's check in. Uh, Julie Maguire still with us. We're going to rejoin Ben Kentish, who has been cutting his own hair at home. And h- how, would you, how would you describe it now, Ben? Eddie, we just have one disastrous moment where I uh, mixed up what I thought were the thinning scissors with the actual cutting scissors and quite, quite a big chunk out. Other than that, I'm actually quite impressed. I think I've done all right. It's shorter, it's thinner... I've managed to do one side, so it's a bit lopsided at the moment. The other side needs work. But, um, I mean, you can see me on camera. What do you think? I can. Well, you've had to go at one side with the with the buzz thing, yeah? I did. I, I resorted to, the, uh, to my razor, basically, for the sideburn. Um, thank you very much, uh, Julie, for doing all of that for us. I know it's probably the most difficult bit of hairdressing you've ever done. But we really appreciate it. Thanks so much. And I hope business uh, picks up before long. I hope so. And I would suggest, you know, if clients want to Zoom their own hairdressers, um, there's a way that we could you could send donations to get advice because we aren't earning any money just now. So if you are in work and you want some advice, then I would get in touch with your hairdresser. That's a very good a idea. Zoom chat. Yeah. Very good. Julie, thanks so much. Good luck with everything. Um, all right, Ben, thank you so much for doing that. And we'll look on the LBC website a bit later and we'll see, uh, everyone can see exactly how it went.